Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. And today we are going to talk about something people ask me around is how we are using GitHub Copilot agent, how we are using this in VS Code or in Visual Studio, how we are automating stuff. And between GitHub Copilot agent and the coding agent on the cloud, there are super, super cool things that we can do. So today, let me show you one that I are, I'm starting to use a lot more. Before going that, or as always, subscribe and like, comment, and more. But let me show you. It's taking out a lot of CCTV cameras from Tenerife Island and doing kind of an online analysis to see how is the traffic there. So this is the, the cameras that they are. The check because we have a super cool episode in the .NET and AI. I'm going to leave this in the comments where we explain how to do this. This is a full, full, big, big Aspire solution where we have tons of services. So hey, Aspire is kind of the best one. And this specific sample is running locally with Olama. So initially, when with Emmy, a friend MVP, we did this online, we use a lot of GPT services on the cloud. And then I tried to do a local version with Olama, which kind of works with local models. Uh, it's kind of slow, but uh, we have AI services, workers, SQL Server database, a front end. There's tons of things here. So let's stop this, the running services, and let's talk a little about the project per se. So what we have here, it's a very big solution. Let me go back here to to Visual Studio Code. I'm going to use code that is the same in Visual Studio. So I have here is a very big solution where we have, of course, the Aspire component, the host and service defaults. Then we have a couple of applications, which is literally the websites. It's only one. And we have a couple of microservices. Let me move myself here so we can take a better look here. So we have a microservice to do the OLAM analysis, another to do the web API, the scrapper services to get the images and more. We have other services, general services, the traffic services, which is going to analyze the traffic. And then we have a worker doing the stuff in the back. And we have tests. We have a couple of tests here that I created right now for this demo to show how we can do. And these tests are empty. So these are referencing one of the microservices, the Olama service that we have here. And the other is referencing one of the services, the traffic services. But they don't have any code here. They only have a sample. When you create an MS test project, basically the test one that is there. So how can I use Copilot agent and coding agent also to do this? So first of all, what I did is I went here to Copilot and I said, Copilot, hey, analyze the unit test that I have here in the test project that I have here and suggest what, suggest basically the set of new unit tests that I can add there. So Copilot did some work here, started to search for the test, SCS, and started to see what we have and find, hey, you know what? You have these services here, you have these classes that have some functionality without any text. And hey, this is cool, I have everything here. So well, I have a uh, description, what we have, we like an example, all of these classes that they don't have any text, there's only a placeholder. So maybe for this and this, we can create unit tests. So what I'm going to do now is I have two options. I can ask Copilot to implement the test, and it's going to do it. Copilot agent is going to do it here in VS Code or in VS Visual Studio if you want to use it. But I can use one of the tools that we have here, and we have a lot of tools available right now. And one of the tools that we have is the MCP for GitHub. And the MCP for GitHub allows us to basically interact with GitHub and do a lot, a lot of other things. Basically, you can check issues in the repo, in the current repo, uh, check the PRs, create new PRs and more. So what I am going to ask right now, I am going to ask basically without the output that we have from this analysis, I'm going to say, create a new issue and include. So I am going to ask to create a new issue and include all of the suggested new test information. It's going to say, hey, I am going to create this. So first time, and depending how you have this, it's going to use this MCP tool to connect to GitHub. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to create me these new issues in the GitHub repo. So yes. And by the way, I can change this so I don't have this question anymore. For this, I am going to do this continue. And we have a new issue created here, which we can see is the number five. If I go to the repo, let's close this so we don't have any. If I close to the repo and refresh the repo, 
we will see that we have a new issue here with this ad growth. And we have all of the info that we have before. So in this series, we can ask, we can check these two projects, these two functionalities and more. So this is the moment where I can start to do the second part, which is I want to go, I want to go back here and continue coding. But if I start to do the unit test here with the agent, the agent is not going to take over my Visual Studio and is going to work here. So let's use another feature, which is the GitHub Copilot coding agent is the one that we have here. So I can assign an issue here. So let's assign the issue here to Copilot. And once we do this, we are going to see in the bottom that I assigned this to Copilot. And hey, we see the eyes here. This is Copilot taking a look here to the issue and also creating a new pull request. And this is going to take some time. So I'm going to wait until this finishes. In the meantime, if you want to enable this, right now it's in preview. There is some license details. I am not an expert on licensing, so please check how you can do this if you have the specific license, the correct license to do this. But if you go to your personal account and you check your settings, you are going to see that in the Copilot, you have the coding agents, which is in preview. And what you can do is you need, in order to use this, you need to enable this in all of your repo or only the selected one. For my scenario, for this scenario, I only enable this. This is my personal account, so there is a lot of crappy stuff here, but I only enable this in my net AI traffic analyzer with Olama. So if we go back here, this is how I get access to the Copilot. If we go back here, we see that it created the pull request. The pull request has all of the info that we have. And we can take a look here also to what it's doing. So if I take a look at the ses session right now, it's working. And we can start, let's zoom this a little. We can start to see it's just a minute. So it's analyzing the codes, analyzing the tests that we have right now. And at any moment, it's also going to give me a plan and it's also going to implement this. So checking out the actual implementation is going to do some work. So I am going to remove myself here and get back when this is, is, this is done. And we are back. So let's take a look. It took over almost 17 minutes, a little longer, and hey, I compress, I collapse all of the steps that here, but let's take a look at the big ones. So it created the plan and run the plan. In the meantime, it's also switched from .NET 9 to .NET 8 because the current runner is only support .NET 8, but hey, analyze the code, added everything, do a, did a lot of a lot of things, and did also all of these tests. And at the end, what we have here is a summary with all of the instructions. We have everything that's happened here. So it added 16 test cases for the test camera service. Also, AI parsing logic, also 12 test cases, and using mocking and other stuff. It was super, super cool. So if we go back here, we can see that the PR, let me refresh. We can see that the PR have some changes here. We have 11 new files, which I like it because we can see here that we have a lot of new packages that we added here, like extension HTTP and login and more to basically mock this. And then we have a couple of changes. What I really like to do here before going to do the commit is, of course, I can probably go here to the, to the space. And if we go back here and open a terminal, and we switch to that space. We can see that we are now in that space. Uh, and hey, we are going to have here a new error. But let's take a look this time in Visual Studio to the to the test that we have here. Because remember, this is all new tests. So I bring Visual Studio. We have all of the tests here. And we saw we have 12 and 16, all of the new tests. And hey, we can run all the tests. It's going to build, it's going to take some time. But hey, this is an amazing, an amazing way to use. As I remember, we started asking Copilot agent in Visual Studio Code to generate the, to identify where we can add new tests. With that, we generate an issue that it was published to our repository and we have everything there. And then here, we went to the repository, we add Copilot coding agent to run the test. And hey, we have every, in there after 20 minutes or so here. So my step here, we do my review, which is basically go here and start to take a look, see how it's open and more, and probably 
merge this as a final. I am going to spend some time taking a look at the test and if really, if it's everything works fine or not. But this is one of the ways that we can do this. And remember, the key pieces are here. Are we have Copilot code in agents working here in Visual Studio code, or remember, we also have Copilot code in agents available here in Visual Studio. Just open this, is going to take some time, but here it is. We have the chance to work with the coding agent. We also have the Copilot MCP server. Now we have a remote one that we can use to generate the issue, to do, and more. And I can even, I haven't tested it, but I can sing, I sing. I can do something like this to the new issue. And it's going to try to assign the Copilot to the new issue. So, but we can test this later. But yes, it's going to do this and assign. I can even do everything here and wait, but I wanted to show you how we can do this. So that's it. This is all part of the repos that we have. If you want to know more, this is all and in the generative AI course that we have. So you can take a look here at the Gen AI course that we have. So everything is there. If you want to know more, let me know. We can do another sample. We can do another overview of the stuff that we have. Remember, all of the Zentic part is very, very useful. We use this a lot. And this is agents locally, agents in the cloud, all supported by GitHub Copilot. It's super, super useful. So one more time, appreciate the subscribe, likes, comments, and more. I hope this answers the question that I had in the last weeks when I was doing events and more. And hey, see you in the next one. Goodbye.